welcome, welcome, welcome to The Spacious Place with Andrea Best. Thank you guys so much for joining me this week. Ladies, we are in another series and I am so excited about this one, y'all. We are talking about sex. (laughs) The topic that no one wants to talk about, but everyone wants to talk about. And so the name of this series is called God's Not Invited. And it's actually, um, it was birthed from a book that I'm writing called God's Not Invited, inviting God into one of the most intimate parts of your marriage. And that is the bedroom. So throughout this series, I'm going to be kind of pulling different chapters from the book and talking about them a little bit. I have some guests coming on, um, but today it's me. And we're going to be talking about a chapter called Come On In. So I have to kind of give some backstory before I really dive into what the Come On In chapter is about and really kind of tell you where we were in our lives at this point. So um, this was a few years back, actually. We were um, just we had just moved. We just bought a house. We had just had my son. So we were experiencing all of these new beginnings. My husband had graduated from from grad school, so he was working. We moved to a new house, to a new town. We were now parents of two. We just, just joined a new church. There were all of these new things happening. And Um, We were so just in a a season of just being so grateful and thankful for all that God had given us and blessed us with and just miracles just happening all around us. And so we really kind of made the decision to um, really want to surrender everything that we had to God. Y'all know that song, Jesus at the center of it all. Like we wanted to live that. We were like, We want God to be at the center of our finances. We want God to be at the center of us communicating, our parenting, um, our friendships. That was truly a season where all of my friendships were blossoming. Um, God was sending me such deep, um, godly friendships that I knew that this was just a season of him being just inserted into every aspect that we were inviting him into. So we were in this place where we were just open, open to receiving everything that God had for us um, in in different parts of our lives. So (laughs) it seemed kind of ironic that the more I opened myself up to God being in my finances, in my marriage, in my parenting, me as a mother, in my friendships, um, in all of my relationships, I started to feel uncomfortable in the bedroom. And, you know, I didn't recognize this right off bat. Like, I didn't just wake up and be like, this was like, God's not here. You know, that wasn't how things went down at all. It started very slowly. Um, now, like I said, in order to talk about this chapter in the book, Come On In, I kind of have to give some little tidbits and a little backstory from some other chapters. There's a chapter in the book called Naked and Afraid. And in that chapter, I kind of talk about how I started to experience this feeling of being extremely uncomfortable and not physically, not where... I was uncomfortable really having sex with my husband, but just feel like something was shifting. You know how when you are getting to a certain level of spiritual maturity or you're getting to a certain level in in your walk with God, some things just start to make you feel uncomfortable. Some situations start to just be like, "Uh, that that don't really feel right. You know what I mean? And so I, I kind of feel like that's what was happening inside of me um, when me and my husband would be, would be intimate. But like I said, it wasn't just this 
red flag, like, eh, 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 this is what it is. It kind of happened slowly. And so this chapter, Naked and Afraid, I started to feel like I was hiding something. And I didn't know what that was. I didn't know if the desire that I had for my husband was going away. I didn't know if something was going on with me that um, I didn't know about. Like, I didn't know if it was something that I was feeling for my husband. I didn't really know. And so honestly, I didn't know what to do with this newfound feeling of just being uncomfortable and feeling like I was hiding and feeling like I was, um, I guess, trying to protect myself from something. To be honest with y'all, there was a lot of thinking and rethinking and um, having conversations with myself, having conversations with God, like, what is this? Because I don't want it to be something that affects my marriage, like that completely changes everything you know what I mean I just didn't know and so after lots of conversations with God lots of prayer um I come to like kind of had like this vision or um God had given me just this visual of me wearing a mask there's a chapter in the book called mask off wearing this mask and feeling like why do I feel like I have to be a different person in the bedroom? I am becoming a woman who is comfortable being herself in my friendships. I am comfortable with being the woman who speaks up for herself and speaks what God has given me, being bold in that. But I feel like I have to be someone else when I get in the bed with my husband. And I didn't understand that. I didn't know why I was feeling that way. And so in this visual or this vision that God gives me, you know, I see myself removing the mask. And to me, it was just a game changer because it was like, I was, taking off all of these things that you guys will hear in another episode called learned behavior. I was removing these things that I had learned. Um, All of that didn't happen at one time. (laughs) Let me get it straight. Let me get it clear. It didn't just happen like that um, at all. But I started to recognize, that's what I should say. I started to recognize that that's what it was. It wasn't just Um, me being uncomfortable. It wasn't just, oh, that I was losing the desire or um, that things were becoming stale. That wasn't it at all. It was that I had been letting God into all of these other parts of my marriage that I thought he needed to be in, but didn't even recognize. Not that I was intentionally not letting him in, but I just didn't realize that this was a place that I was completely shutting him him out of. And now that my heart was beginning to surrender to Jesus in a way that it had never had before, I was starting to want that, like desire that in the bedroom. And it was was truly just an amazing revelation (laughs) that I received. It was like the people call it the come to Jesus moment. Like that was my come to Jesus moment when I really realized that I didn't have to be someone else in the bedroom. Um, And what that looked like for me, because I want to give you guys a visual of before and after. And I want to do it briefly because we're going to talk about this in another episode in the series, which I am so excited about because that special guest um i can't wait (laughs) but before i had this idea of what sex looked like um from other experiences that i had had uh pornography movies books everything else that taught me what sex was supposed to look like other than the other than the creator 
of sex. <laughs> and so it looked, our, our, to me, um, not that we had a bad sex life, that's not what it was, but I feel like you don't really know how great something can be until you see you get better, you see another way of doing it, you get another perspective. And so it wasn't that we had just this horrible sex life, that wasn't it. It was, it was that we were doing it on other terms, like the way that we thought it should look, the way that we thought it should sound. We were speaking to each other how we had seen it done in movies or whatever. You know, that was the basis. That's, that's where we learned everything. Afterwards, once we got into this place of come on in, which you'll also learn once you guys read the book that it wasn't just a, I realized that I wanted to invite God in and then we invited God in and everything was great. Yeah, no, it didn't happen like that. <laughs> there was a, a process, a series of me praying before I even told my husband, like, this is how I feel. I didn't even know how to tell him. I didn't know if he was gonna be receptive to it, if he was gonna be like, girl, you tripping. I'm we good you know like I just didn't know <laughs> and so there was a whole process but afterwards it was amazing our love language changed and not the not the love language that we know um the five love languages it's a it's a wordplay off of that but the way that we spoke to each other in the bedroom was truly us we were speaking to each other as if we could, you know, we were outside of the bedroom. There was, there was no difference. We used words that meant something to us. You know what I mean? It wasn't this, this conjured up way of talking just because we were in the bedroom. We still use words that were passionate. We still use words that meant things to us but it was us. We didn't have to act. We didn't have to pretend, or we didn't have to use the things that we thought it was supposed to sound like or look like. Um, and so just to see the transformation from then to now is truly incredible. And I know it was because we told God, come on in <laughs> you know we invited him into the place that we hadn't had never honestly um and it was such a freeing journey i won't say moment because it wasn't a moment it was a freeing journey that um we have been on and continue to be on because we continue to learn more about each other but we're allowing god to be the teacher for us we're allowing god to tell us what sex is for us in our marriage and i think that's the biggest thing that um just makes it special for us because it's, it looks like no one else's you know it doesn't look like what we think it should look like but it's truly just us exploring each other and exploring ourselves and understanding what it is that God has blessed us with. And it, it, it truly is amazing. I am so excited for one, I'm so excited for this series, but I'm really excited about the book to come for the book to come out because um, I really get into detail about all of these chapters and um, how things kind of went down, like, you know, thinking about chapters, naked and afraid, um, getting really deep in, in detail and in depth about um, what it was like to feel like you're hiding from your father who cares about you, who loves you, who only wants the best for you, but feel like you have to hide a part of him, a part of yourself from him. You know, um, talking about um, a chapter called Mask Off when the moment the mask comes off and you start to have that true intimacy with your spouse. Um, there's, a, a, there's a chapter called um, My New Love Language that is so incredible because you just see the transformation from what sex used to sound like to what it sounds like now and the way that God 
was weaved through the whole process, you know, um, healing old wounds. That is one of my favorite, but it's one of the chapters that took me deep, deep, deep down. <laughs> um, that's one of the chapters that I feel like I received the most healing from and really pushed us into this new level um, in our intimacy and even in our communication, learning to forgive each other. Um, that is a chapter that I feel like will speak to so many women because there are so many old wounds that we have to heal in order to get to a different level in our sex life with our spouse. So ladies, I am so excited for this series. It's um, a topic that, like I said before, we don't want to talk about, but we do want to talk about. And so I love talking about things like this because it was created by God. And I want us to understand that that sex can be so beautiful in marriage and it doesn't have to be taboo to talk about and it doesn't have to be awkward to talk about amongst married women and and single women too. I mean, there are, there are chapters in this book that I experienced before I was even married and um, just learning from those experiences and having the conversation. That's where it is living in this place that um, we don't have to be afraid to have these conversations because they are needed and they're real. So ladies, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait for you guys to hear the rest of the episodes in this series. They have blessed me so much and I'm just praying that they bless you. Until next time, this has been The Spacious Place with Andrea Best. Mm -hmm.